Tears of the Kingdom has not even been out a full week and already players are going bonkers with the game's unique crafting mechanic. The Ultra Hand ability allows players to connect a wide variety of stuff lying around to build a myriad of wacky contraptions. But while I can barely get a functioning raft together, many fans have unleashed their inner Dr. Robotnik and started building horrifying weapons of war. Here are five that I found the most interesting, in no particular order. Let's start things off with a blast. Behold the walking horror of Flame Dick. Do not, oh, he's gone. Okay, that, all right, that one doesn't count. Let's move on. Hey, remember the time that Link decided to cosplay as a Call of Duty kill streak? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Aerial superiority is the key to victory in any battle, and Link understands this. Watch as he bombs his pitiful groundbound enemies into submission. And it's a good thing he obliterated them from the skies above while they were, you know, standing there in their homes. Minding their own business. Yar, matey! It be Captain Link and his mighty jet-powered cannon boat. He be the terror of the seven seas, and with a ride like this, he's guaranteed to get that booty. Yar, this hurts me voice. Now, I didn't see a name on this monstrosity, so I'm gonna call this the Obliterator. Twin cannons vaporize any enemies at the front of the vehicle, while spikes deter any boarders from getting on from the sides. This vehicle is perfect for dealing with moblins, bokoblins, or your annoying neighbor Carl who blasts salsa music at 1 a.m. on a Tuesday. Get it together, Carl! Well, this next weapon of war is just proving the conspiracy theorists right. Space lasers do exist, but we need those lasers, damn it! They are the only thing protecting us from Monster Zero. Go, Brave Laser Satellite! Smite the foes of humanity with your brilliant beams of death. Link is taking the aliens approach in this battle. When in doubt, nuke it from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. And finally, the creme de la creme. We have an actual, full-on combat mech. This thing looks like it's straight out of Mech Warrior, and I'm pretty sure using it on foes armed only with a bow and arrow constitutes a war crime. But damn if it doesn't look cool. Also, I know the title of this video says five war machines, but I'm gonna throw in some mech variants for fun. Take, for example, this guy that utilizes the flame emitter to deal close range damage and psychological trauma to his foes. And then there's the mech that adds some head and arm lasers into the mix to deal with those pesky aerial attackers. Definitely an improvement over Flame Dick. Well, that's it. Those are five of my favorite war machines in Tears of the Kingdom. Hey, have you seen any crazy war machines that you think I should check out? Leave it in the comments. Let me know where I can find them because I might do another one of these videos. Heck, any wacky contraptions. They don't have to all be war related. Leave it in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. And, uh, you know, make sure to like and subscribe. And also, uh, yeah, there's a subscribe here. If you want to see what we're doing on Ogsog, me, Mari, Sohinki, and Joven, that's over there. More laser corn nonsense over here. I think it's an umbrella sketch. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.